Okay guys, welcome back. I know I haven't posted anything or uploaded anything in the past five to six months. I've been hectically busy with so many other things, just didn't get time, you know, or a chance to get around to doing any uh, designs. So today we're gonna start off with our first exercise for surface modeling. And it's gonna be a very simple exercise. It's gonna be of this tennis ball over here. So let's get into this. We're gonna start off by creating a part. I wanna name this part surface exercise one. Okay, before we do anything, I just wanna change the color here, more or less to a tennis ball kind of color. I wanna start off with the sphere. So I'll put the sphere center diameter 60 okay that's the diameter I want so okay now let's start off now next step will be a sketch let's give this line over here an angle of 45 degrees I'm just gonna make a reference line over here all right now I'm gonna do a square now I want one corner of the square to intersect over there okay now this I can erase this can also go and that can also go all right circle raise all square I'll make a line going here that's a line going over there one touch trim now we're going to do an offset of all this okay in both directions and I want an offset of 1.5 in both directions there you go. Put the shade back on. All right, so I'm just gonna delete this middle line. I really don't need it. All right, so let's exit our sketch. Now I'm gonna go to wireframe and I'm going to project my sketch onto this face. I want to choose the direction. I want this direction and I want it to be bidirectional projection. There we go. Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm just gonna blank a few things. Actually, no. Blank the sketch. Now I'm going to do a trim. Okay, I want to trim this face. I want to trim it with these curves. All right. This one and this one. Faces to keep. I want to keep this side and this side. Okay, there we go. It has removed what I don't want. Right, so I'm gonna change color here again to white. Now I wanna go to Conic by Rail, all right? And I'm going to create that rubbery part. I'm gonna put this 5.5 .5 radius. Go. 
one last thing to finish it off. I want to put a fillet and a fillet of about one millimeter. There we go. All right, and there's our tennis ball. I hope you like this uh, little exercise. And uh, until next time for exercise two.